Good evening and welcome to postseason baseball here at Wrigley Field, where the Cubs host the Brewers in wild card series play. Now we are joined by Cubs GM Ozzy Villain. And Ozzy, what are your thoughts ahead of the big game? It's disgusting. It's uh, 99 games this season we won. How the f are we in the wild card game? This is unbelievable. You know what's going to happen. We all know what's going to happen, don't we? We're going to lose this series. It's going to be game over. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are going to win today. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to the Chicago Cubs. It is the postseason. It is game one of the wildcard series. We are facing Milwaukee and uh, I'm still a little bit dirty that we have to... Uh, we. <laughs> It's have to play this. We had the best record in baseball. The joint best record in baseball with the Reds. They won seven. We won six against them. So we find ourselves in a wild card uh, when everybody else in the playoffs has a worse record than us. And if we lose this, which would just be the most Aussie villain thing to happen, we'll get swept in this. Uh, 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 can you imagine? I will be livid. Anyway, we're playing Milwaukee today. We are, uh, well... We're going San Martin on the mound for us. So he did have a decent record. Uh, his he doesn't look particularly good, you know, two star pitcher, but he fits with what we want to do. So that is that's fine. He's had a good year. Uh, arguably ERA, you know, he's just in just as good as Corbin Burns. So that is uh, that is all of that. Now this season we had a uh, seven and six record against Milwaukee, so we won more than we lost. So let's hope that continues. We did score more runs and concede less, but crucially. We did that with Dansby Swanson at shortstop and Vlad Jr. hitting third. We don't have either of them, of course, now. So that is going to make life a little bit more difficult for us. It definitely makes us worse defensively and worse offensively as well. So we'll just have to see how we can do here. You can see the way the rest of the series should shape up. Lance McCullers Jr. going in game two. Perkins going against Manoa in game three. Now you look at uh, maybe not so much the win loss because that doesn't really mean anything. But if you look at the ERAs in game three then that definitely looks as though it favors us. But equally, it looks as though it favors them in game two, the pitching matchup. So this is a big game one. We do not want to be one game from elimination after one game, do we? So let's see these lineups and uh, get the postseason underway. On your feet, Chicago, for some postseason baseball. At first base, it's James Trianto. At second base, it's Shumi Wakamatsu. At third base, it's Zadani Raffaella. At shortstop, it's Kevin May. In left field, it's William McQuay. In center field, it's Pete Crow Armstrong. In right field, it's Brennan Davis. The designated hitter is Moises Ballesteros. Behind the plate tonight, it's Thomas Nido. And your starting pitcher is River San Martin. So the matchups do not look great. They never really do for us, though, do they? But we know that we we, we do outperform often our star ratings. Uh, so we've got Kevin May leading us off at short. It is PCA batting uh, second in left field, uh, center field, sorry. It is Sedani. Uh, in uh, in at three, batting three. Uh, uh, McQuaid will obviously clean up. He's in left field. Brennan Davis in right field, bats five. It is Ballesteros, the DH, batting six. Triantos at first base, batting seven. Wakamatsu, the second baseman, bats eight. Nido, the catcher, bats nine. Martin, as I say, is our pitcher. He has a 10-10 record. ERA, though, of 386, a whip of 132. So let's hope that goes okay. He had a, a, a sort of no result, but an ERA of 491 versus Milwaukee. We're up against Corbin Burns. He had an 18 and 10 record this season, a 346 ERA, a whip of 118, and a 10 record against us with an ERA of 257. So, yeah, well, that needs to change, doesn't it? All right, welcome to Wrigley for postseason baseball. Now, we will, of course, every game will be at Wrigley, so we've got that advantage as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it is technically an advantage, I suppose. It's Martino, one pitch. It is hit into center field, and it is going to drop in. So that's not the sort of start we were looking for. It is a leadoff single. In comes Urias for them. A 1-2 and a strikeout for San Martin. Excellent stuff. One away. In comes Troy. You know, he batted 289 in the regular season. Uh, ground ball could be a double play. There's one. It is just one. But lead runner is out. Two away for Guzman, who batted uh, 277. 
And he strikes out. All right, well done, San Martin. Gets us out of the first inning. We'll go have a bat made to lead us off. Batted 256 regular season. A 2 2 pitch. Made strikes out, one away. In comes Armstrong, who batted 268 regular season. He was a 2020 player this year, which I think is 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases, if I'm not mistaken. I tell you what, that could be leaving as well. PCA! He's more than a 2020 player now. 404 feet. It is 1 0. We've taken the lead in the bottom of the first. And it's a big postseason home run for Pete Pro Armstrong. Wonderful stuff. In comes Sidani Raffaella now. That's quite loud. The fans are quite excited about that one, aren't they? Batted 271. I think the big concern, no, you're not concerned, but the unknown as Sedani whacks one into right center field. That should be at least a double for him. And he will stand at second. Yeah, the unknown we have is how our players are going to respond to being in the postseason because we've not done it before, obviously. McQuaid now batted 299 in the po in the regular season. Sorry, that'd be annoying when that's batting 299. And that is up the middle. Is it? Oh, it's a stunning catch. He's been robbed. Two away for Brennan Davis, who batted 243 regular season. Brennan Davis, is that going to drop in? If it does, it's going to score a run, surely, as Raffaella does not stop. Goes home. RBI, it might be scored an RBI single, it is. But Davis goes to second. It is 2 0 for Ballesteros, who uh, batted 250 regular season. A 2 2 pitch here, though. And he strikes out, ends the first, but we've taken a 2 0 lead which is very, very nice indeed. San Martin to France, who is batting, or batted, I should say, 286 regular season. And he starts his postseason with a strikeout. This is very nice from San Martin. Till now comes in, batted 233 regular season. A 1-1 pitch. And that is in to left field. McQuaid goes back, makes the catch, two away. For Royce Lewis to come in now, who batted 248 regular season. A 1-2 pitch. And that is popped up. It should be caught by Triantos at first, ends the inning. And again, so far, so good for San Martin. This is what he's done all season. It's just sort of defy that two-star rating and, and look very, very good. Triantos, who batted 293. Did that say regular? I don't think he batted that good regular season. But anyway, he strikes out there. Wakas Matsu, only batted 200 regular season, spent most of the season in Iowa. And Waka Matsu, he's hit that well, but it's a diving catch up there in center field. And that'll be two away for Nido, who batted 237 regular season. Did finish the season like a house on fire. And he's going to continue that form, is he, as he pops one into left center field for a two-out single. Thomas Nido. There's usually one player that stands up in the postseason. You wonder if it might be Nido with the bat. He finished the season well. Uh, May struck out there to end the inning. But, uh, yeah, you just wonder if maybe... Maybe he might be the man. So the Tigers, it was always Parker Meadows, wasn't it? We'd bring him in for the postseason, and he would be just brilliant. Nice running catch out there for Pete Crow Armstrong. And that is one away. Chicken Snitzel to the plate now. He batted 235 regular season, an 0-2 pitch. And a ground ball over to first, and that will be two away. And it brings back up uh, Ahuna, who has their only hit so far. He's one for one today, a 1-2 pitch. And a strikeout to end the third. All right, so far so good. Pete Crow Armstrong, who hit the home run, of course, in the first, a 3-1 pitch. And he has popped that into center field, and that will be one away. In comes Sedani Raffaella, who's one for one. A full count. Raffaella strikes out. That is two away to McQuaid to come in, who is 0 for 1. He's not been in good form recently, has he? He won player of the month in September, and I think he's struck out every at-bat since. We need him back because, we've, well, we know without Vlad, he is almost carrying the lineup single-handedly. First pitch swing from Urias. Pops it up into right field. Brennan Davis is there. One away. In comes Chorio, who is going to uh, be 0 for 1 today. It's a 2-2 pitch, and it is a ground ball past Wakamatsu. And that is uh, one out single. Just maybe setting up the double play as Guzman comes in. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, there goes the runner. Nido, is he going to get him? No, not quite. So one out runner at second now. A 1-1. One, one. And that is into left field. Should be easy enough for McQuaid. Two away. Runner will stay at second. And it brings France up, who is 0-1. And a ground ball, easy for Kevin May. Over to first, ends the fourth. Or the top of it anyway. And we'll go and have a bat. Davis to lead us off. He is 1-1 one for one with an RBI. It's a full count. Davis draws the war just about 
So leadoff man aboard for Ballesteros, who's 0 for 1. A 1-1, Ballesteros straight back up the middle, a pitcher killer that one. And Brennan Davis will hold it second. So two on, none out for Triantos, who is 0 for 1. He bet at 248 regular season. I don't know what I saw, it said 290 odd there. Is he like, oh, he lines it straight to the third baseman. And it's an error to load the bases with no one out. Wakamatsu, come on, Fozzie. Can he drive in some runs? It's a 2 0. Wakamatsu, oh, don't be a double play. It's not. Out at the plate, though. One away for Nido. He is one for one. This is your time to shine, Thomas. Come on. Oh, he forgot the swing. It was straight down the middle. Instead of borderline strike, he didn't look a borderline strike. So, two out bases loaded. It's Kevin made. We need to make this count. Kevin made. Oh, we've loaded the bases, none out, and not scored a run. Is that going to come back and haunt us? Oh, you can't be doing that, can you? Teal, 0 for 1. 0 1 pitch. Ball into left field. Can McQuaid make a catch? No. It's going to be a leadoff single. Are we going to pay an instant price for that? Lewis comes in 0 for 1 today. He hits it into left field. That's a little bit better hit, but uh, almost to his detriment because McQuaid is there to catch it. And that is one away. One that stays at first for Wade Jr. now, who's 0 for 1. First pitch swing. They're testing McQuaid this inning. It drops in front of him again. So two on, one out. Runners at first and second for Chicken Schnitzel, who is 0 for 1. There's a strikeout. We needed that. Takes, well, they couldn't have sacrificed anyway, I suppose. So two down now for Ahuna, who is 1 for 2. A 2-0 pitch. Grounds it to Triantos. Goes to the base. Ends the top of the fifth. It is still 2-0 in game one of the wild card series. Pete Crow Armstrong to lead us off. He's one for one today. Well, one for one, one for two. First pitch, pops it up into right field and that will be one away. In now will come uh, Rafaela, who is batting one for two today. It's a 1-0 pitch. Sadani, well hit into center field. It drops in front of the man out there for a one out single. In comes McQuaid to strike out. He is 0 for two. First, he's not going to strike out. McQuaid! Oh, that's good off the bat. When McQuaid hits it like that, it does not stay in the park. It is another two-run home run for us. His first of the season, 377 feet. And just like that, we double the lead to four. Welcome back, William. Welcome back. Good to see you. All right, it is Davis who is one for one today with a walk. An 0-1 pitch. And he grounds it to the third baseman, and that should be out at first. Two away. And Ballesteros now with no one on. A 1-2 pitch. Ballesteros half swings, changes his mind, and then goes and takes a seat. Top of the sixth. Martin will continue to Urias, who is 0 for 2. It is a 2-2 pitch. Oh, he's hit him, has he? Seemed unnecessary. If you're going to hit him, just do it first pitch. Why waste your arm? And that'll do it. So Garrett Croquet will come in. Now San Martin has gone five inning there. Now he's responsible for the man at first. But that was... Really, really good, wasn't it? Let's see what Croquet can do. He has been in very good form to end the season. That was as a starting pitcher, though, not out of the bullpen. He gets a pop up there, one away. Runner will stay at first. And Guzman will come in now, 0 for 2. A full count, and that is again into right field. Davis can't make a catch. Gets the ball in, and the runner will stay at second. So, 2 on, 1 out. France to the plate. He is 0 for 2. First pitch swing. France grounds with double play. Double play, double, oh, just one. So two away, runners at, first, at second and third, sorry, for Kyle Teal, who is one for two. This is a bigger bat, isn't it? We really could do with just sitting him down here. Oh, and he does. Croquet gets the strike. And that ends the top of the sixth. So there is no runs for San Martin, which is brilliant. He deserves that. And Triantos will lead us off. A 3-1 pitch. Draws the walk. All right. Wakamatsu. Come on, Fozzy. He's 0 for 2. It's a first pitch swing. Fozzie, he's hit it really well. Has Fozzie just hit a home run? Yes! Fozzie, I don't even know he's hit a home run before in Major League Baseball. I'll have to check. But it is 6-0, 372 feet. And I did not expect him to be uh, whacking them out of the park today. Waka waka. Yeah, well done. See what I did there. So what a time to hit your first career Major League home run. Nido will come in now. He is one for two. And there's a new man on the mound, uh, Paguero is how I'm going to try and pronounce that. And that is popped up. That'll be one away. But 6-0 in the sixth. It's all going a little bit too well right now, isn't it? Kevin Maid, who is 0 for 3. A first pitch swing. Maid 
pops it up into right field. That'll be two away. And it'll bring up Pete Crow Armstrong, who started off this party with a home run in the first, of course. Full count, and he strikes out to end the sixth. All right. Croquet to Lewis, who is 0 for 2. 1-1 one, one pitch. Popped up into right field. Foul territory. Brennan Davis is there. One away. All right. It is Wade Jr. who is one for two. It's a one-two pitch. And that is well hit into the gap, into right center field, all the way to the Ivy. And is it going to be just a double? Peaky gets the ball in. And it is a one-out double. So we don't need to worry so much about that with the lead we've got. We just need to get man at the plate, don't we? It's a 1-1 one -one here on Chicken Schnitzel. And that is up the middle. That might score the run. How's your arm, PD boy? He is not good enough to stop the run from scoring. So it is six to one. A one-out single. We have a man at first, a hooner at the plate, who is one for three. It's a one-two pitch, and that is going to be caught by Brennan Davis. Runner goes back to first, two away. And Urias will come in now, 0 for 2. A 1-1. One, one. Can we end this inning? That should do it. McQuaid trots across, makes the catch, ends the inning. It is 6-1 as we stretch in game one of the wildcard series. All right, so it is time to vote for our MVP. Now, thank you everybody who nominated. There were three players with multiple nominations. So those three players become our nominees. In alphabetical order, first up, it is the closer, David Bednar. He has a 4-2 record this season with 33 saves, an ERA of 0.92 and a war of 2.2. Uh, next up, it is P.D. Crow Armstrong, a batting average of 268, 22 home runs, 80 RBIs, and a war of 6.3. And the final nominee is the currently injured Vlad Jr. He had a 309 average before his injury, 27 home runs, 90 RBIs, and a war of 4.6. So as ever, there'll be a link in the top of the description down below. Click on that, it'll take you through to a straw poll, and we will announce our MVP at our end of season awards, hopefully after our World Series victory. All right, welcome back. Hopefully I remember to edit in the MVP vote. Uh, note to uh, future Aussie villain. Make sure you edit that in. Uh, hopefully everybody has got their nominations in. As Sadani Raffaella starts us off with a pop out into center field. One away. In comes McQuaid. What a hit that was last time he was up to score the home run. What can he do this time? He can... Oh, he's forced that out. He's dug that out. Low inside. And got himself a single into left field. Excellent piece of hitting that. And Brennan Davis now, who is one for two. A 2-2 two -two on him. Brennan Davis strikes out. So two away for Ballesteros, who is one for three. A full count. Ballesteros strikes out. And that'll do it for the bottom of the seven. 6-1. Six, and does Croquet continue? No, it's the DJ comes in to face Churio, who is one for three. It's an 0-2 pitch. Come on, DJ. There we go. One away. He is a strikeout machine when he's on. Guzman, who is one for three. It's a 2-2 pitch. That's a ground ball. Wakasuma has it over to first, and that will be two down. In comes France, who is 0-4-3. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, DJ, sitting down. Oh, there we go. We are three outs away from being one game away from facing uh, Cincinnati in the uh, league series. All right, it is Triantos to lead us off. He is 0 for 2. It's a 1-0 pitch. He did walk, of course, to lead us off last time he was up. This time, he grounds it back to the pitcher, and that'll be one away. All right, it brings up Wakasuma, the home run hitting hero last time up. A 2-1 pitch, and Wakasuma, is, he's hitting him well today, isn't he? Unfortunately for him, that's straight to left field, but I don't think I've seen him hit two balls in the outfield all season. So that is two down. It's Nido, who is one for three. An 0-1 pitch, and Nido gets one up the middle. These two out singles, mate, they're not really any good to us. When we had loaded bases, that's when you should have got your single, mate. All right, Kevin Maid will come in. He is 0 for 4. He's not had a great day, to be honest. And he's just bought Nido over to second. Good job, Muppet. Uh, so, all right, Maid with a chance now to drive in a run. Maid grounds it to the shortstop. That will do it. But we go to the ninth. We have five runs up. And it will be the DJ to continue to Teal, who is 1 for 3. It's a 2-1 pitch. Ground ball. It's one of those little choppy things. It almost certainly will be an infield hit. And that is... Uh, well, there we go. Man aboard. Lewis to face DJ. Lewis is 0 for 3. An 0-1 pitch. Oh, gets away. DJ, calm down, mate. Calm down. It's okay. 
It's okay. A 1-1. Ground ball to Maid. Over to first. One away. So it just takes your GM just telling you to calm down. It's like, have that sort of power with this team. All right, Wade Jr., who is two for three. It's a full count. And that is a ground ball. Maid, oh, can't handle it. And, uh, well, it just gets a little bit nervous now, doesn't it? It's chicken schnitzel with runners at the corners and one away. He is one for three today, an 0-2 pitch. DJ sits him down. They're down to their final out. They need five runs. Ahum is the man at the plate. He is one for four. It's a 2-2 pitch. DJ gets the ground ball. Fozzie over to first. And we have won game one of the wild card. 6-1 with three homers as well. What a performance. So there we go. We take the 1-0 lead in the series. And uh, well, that was really good, wasn't it? I've got to say, San Martin, uh, where are you here, mate? I mean, what a start that was from him. And like I say, two-star rated not at all he has just done brilliantly for us he's he just as i said just fits into what we're trying to do the way we set up sort of our defense around our pitching staff and to be honest i don't know that i'd change him for anybody he is just he's just getting the job done uh so yeah well done to him well done to us that's a one nil lead which means we will be back next time what's this uh, email we have here uh that is uh, oh so the tennessee smokies uh, going to the next round of their playoffs but yeah that will be that we will be back next time uh to hopefully hopefully win the thing it'll be uh it'll be who's up next for us lance mccullers jr will be up against burke for them burke for them is he's an innate leader so you'd imagine he'll be up for the game but uh i mean he's i mean we've just seen from san martin attributes aren't everything but he does look certainly just your average major league pitcher doesn't he so let's hope that we can uh yeah, go and get this job done and find ourselves not having to stress ourselves too much going into the Red Series. If we could do it with uh, Jack Perkins being fresh, ready to go into game one of this series, the Visional Series, then that would be huge. Um, obviously, you know, we want to try and get this done as quickly as possible. But I'll see you next time for that one. Don't forget to go and vote for your MVP. You will have a little bit of time to vote if you want to wait um, until we get eliminated at some point, which hopefully we won't get eliminated. Hopefully we'll be lifting the World Series. But anyway, guys, I'll see you for game two next time. Take care.